You know the drill. I'm resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft. And that's it. No, really, I'm just drafting players. I decided it would be fun to do a draft with no restrictions. For whatever reason, my face cam decided to focus on the background in this video, so I'm a blurry boy. After I choose 20 players, we will assemble the team in franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. How about we find out what team I will be representing in this no-holds-barred draft? To me personally, that sounds like a plan. Boom! We get the Minnesota Wild. Don't feel like we get them too often. I'm down. Hey, did you know that their logo is in the shape of a bear head? I know. Well, 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 we meet again. And guess what's happening? Again. See you later, Jabron. I'm mildly hoping for a top... 10 pick, so I'm gonna say that we have number 9. I'm gonna try manifesting it and probably be entirely wrong. Okay, you know what? Close enough. This feels very weird and very wrong. Everyone's available. There's no restrictions. I don't need to try worrying about a certain stipulation. Obviously, I'm still gonna stay within the cap restraint, so I guess there is that rule, but that's pretty much it. The type of guy you want on your team in the playoffs, I'm going with Chucky. And he will be centered by Steven Stamkos. Eric Carlson should be chilling for another round. I'm gonna go to goalies, and I want to try and get a 90-plus goalie. There's only one on the board, Linus Allmark. Man is loaded with abilities, decorated, if you will. Let's sign that contract. Easy pick, Eric Carlson. I could maybe wait one more round, but I'm not gonna risk it. Maybe Sussy grabbing a second line center before our first line right winger, but I'm still gonna do it. Kopitar will be joining the team at 10 milli. Yeah, give me Joey Pavs for that first line, and I need a left-handed defender. Congratulations, Shane, you fit the bill. Ooh, another offensive defenseman, though. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm still gonna do it. Nobody's taking Brent Burns, so I will. Three offensive defensemen. Am I just digging my own grave here? So we've done our all-out thing. 27 million left and only eight players drafted. Gotta be a little bit more responsible from here on out, and Gus will be a winger to Anze Kopitar. Is he a right-handed defender? Yup. But having an 85 overall on the third pair sounds pretty fire to me, and especially at just 2.3. That OEL contract is nice. You might actually be on the first pairing, but we'll see, because you're gonna be playing with an offensive defenseman no matter what. This draft is really messing with my head, because I just keep thinking, am I breaking the rules? Am I drafting players that I shouldn't be? But then I remember there are no rules. Two million bucks for max patches, a left-wing sniper. Hopefully Anze can just set up both the wingers. Assuming he plays on the second line. Anze will. I don't know about patches. Probably. I'm going to get a little bit risky here. 5.1 is a lot, and we don't have much cap left, but whatever. Let's make it work. Evander Kane. 2.9. Really good in the dot. Has to be done. I had no idea that Henrik was only making 1.4. That could be... Did he get traded and they had cap retention, or did he just sign for that? Either way, you are joining... The Minnesota Wild. Gonna finish off the defensive core with a less than a mil veteran. Just a locker room guy, you know? I've got a crazy one for you. Give me Michael Acemont. Jordan Martinook looks pretty tempting right now. We could use another left winger. Let's go for it. I just realized we never took a backup goalie. But that's okay. Allmark can play all 82. Who cares? You know I'm gonna do it. We can afford the cap. And it's flower. Why is he still here? Welcome back to Minnesota. And we're gonna finish off the team with a grinder. 70 discipline is not ideal, but go crazy. Run around out there. This is the team we drafted with no restrictions, and I'm gonna be honest, kinda nervous. It looks good on paper. We have all kinds of player types. The defense could be questionable with all the offensive. Well, how many do we really have? Just... Two, maybe three. No more delaying. Let's get in there and hope that we have some chemistry. Okay, a plus five. Get out of here, Jabronski. Cheeky third line sniper for patches. Maybe he could put some goals in when they're not expecting it. Maybe. There is not a playmaker on our first line. We have a power forward, a sniper, and a two-way forward. But you know what? They can get Steven the puck. And with that, it is time to face my fear. Defense... Okay, you know what? It could be a lot worse. If I were to theoretically, asking for a friend here, move up OEL, we get 002. But I'm not going to do that because I like the dueling plus twos down here. Linus backed up by Marcus Andrade. 
I enjoy that. Are we gonna be good? That is the million dollar question. Let's go with Stamkos getting the most points at 80. I think we're not gonna put up a lot of offense for some reason, but we will be able to shut teams down. And we shut them down because we can. 46 wins. I'm gonna instill some confidence in this lineup. Why do I have this really bad, overwhelming feeling that we're not even gonna make the playoffs? Nice, a big shutout win in our opening game against the Flowrider Panthers, and we are on one. Thought we were gonna lose that game against Columbus just because I was hyping the boys up. 10-5-0? It's pretty good. We're battling for first in the division. You know what? We might have a winner on our hands. I can't even lie to you. This is going to do wonders for my confidence because I thought I was completely washed. Maybe I was just building the teams wrong. Technically, I could trade. There's no rule against it. But our team's doing so good, I don't really want to shake things up. So good players on the block. In another scenario, maybe I would go after them. But right now, I'm... Pretty content. 45 wins at the trade deadline. That is actually crazy. Pretty big trade to announce. John Gibson, a second and a third, headed to Mount Real for Nikolai Ehlers. Kadri and Nurse headed to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for two firsts, Beck and Balake. Do you want to go to war, Balake? And we have another one, Savoy and a first going to the Kings for Couturier and a third. And we continue to get spams. Can I block your number? Patrick Kane and Sean Walker headed to the Mile High City for a first round pick and Cormier. Three straight losses after the trade deadline had me worried. They did have me in the first half, but you know what? We are rebounding right now. Doing way better than I thought this team was going to do. 55. 55. No, we ended up with 54 wins. That could still be President's Trophy. 112 points. We dominated the Central, but can we win the President's Trophy is the question. Yes, we do. We just beat the New Jersey Devils in a tiebreaker. Boston managed to sneak in at the 19th spot. Islanders did not have a good time this year. In fact, it was just rough for the New York teams in general. I'm not sure where. Oh, Buffalo is also here, so yeah. And then there's New Jersey tying us with most points in the league. Definitely betting on the future. They got Bedsy, Pinto, Farabee. McCann, Taravainen, they got some good players, Holloway. I did not expect this much offense from Chucky, and I am here for it. 98 points, not too shabby. Pavelski with 87, and we got Anze Kopitar on the second line with 80. What happened to Steven? Very happy with Carlson's performance. 73 points. It could be a Norris season. Probably not, but... There's a chance at minimum. Allmark and Flurry, the dynamic duo, they both did quite well. 912 for Allmark, 272, and Flower holding it down. Goss Despair and Burns both did really well, but yeah, 73 considering the chemistry was a dash one. Even more impressive. Allmark had the most wins, actually. Swayman hot on his tail. That is hilarious. The Boston goaltenders still dueling. Swayman had a slightly better save percentage by 0.001. GAA a little bit worse. Bobrovsky did amazing as well. 40 wins, a 920 save percentage. He played two less games than Allmark. Wow, Swayman played 75. Definitely not getting the Norris. Quinn Hughes put up 80 points. He was also a plus 22. McAvoy was 76. Same with Hedman. Normally there's some big separation, but not really this time. Happy playing for the Washington Capitals. What a sight that is. 115 points and 62 goals. I can almost assure you he is the Rocket Richard winner. Yeah, not even close. So he is getting the Rocket Richard, the Art Ross, probably the Heart. Gonna be a janitor cleaning up at the award ceremony. We're on the front page, at least. Here's the team that kept up with us all season long. They have Verhage, McDavid, and Besser. That is a very good first line. Claude, Nino, and Nelson also very good. Devin Taves and Ryan Pulock reunited. I... Devin Taves definitely played for the Islanders, right? I'm not crazy. Markstrom backstopped their team with the help of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Um, this is our first round opponent. I was going to call them our first round victim. Those feelings subsided real quick. Jonathan Taves, their fourth line center. John Tavares, their third line center. Malkin Hall and Nason, this first line. Holy crap. They didn't even do that well. I think they got 44 wins, which is good, but I feel like they're a better team than that. 
Oh, we're in one. We are absolutely in one. Yeah, they finished 44, 35, and 3 with a 6, 4, and 0 last 10. We had a 4, 4, and 2 last 10. Not a great end to the year. First three games, everybody knows the rules. Let's see how we do against this team. That first loss really scared me. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a matchup. Oh, no. Maybe not based on seasonal performance, but looking at their roster... Has to be the hardest possible first round matchup we could have had. Nason cuts the lead in half. It is 2-1 after 1. Chucky gets us back with the insurance marker. 3-1 good guys. And we kill off. We kill off a penalty. And then get scored on shorthanded. Just eliminate us. We don't deserve to win. Eric Carlson, another power play goal. There's been a lot of penalties in this game, I feel like. Brent Burns piling on. 40 shots. They have a lot too, to be fair. Okay, I think we survive another day. Five to two victory. But we still have a steep climb in front of us. Come on, lads, let's get it done. Push a game seven and delete them at home. Awesome. Great start for Chucky. Let's go, Kopitar. They score very quick into the second period, so their coach must have said something in the locker room to fire them up, and we need to shut that down. And we shut them down because we can. Power play, come on. Get us the insurance! This is the longest power play I've ever seen. Would they do kill someone? Doubling them in shots right now. If we lose this game... Thank you, Patches. Come on, hold them off, hold them off. That is a huge power play, and they score... I thought for sure it was going to be them again. Well, we did it. We pushed the game seven. We can't lose now. After making that comeback... And we score the first shot of the game. Steven Stamkos... You absolute icon. Taylor Hall scores, and now it's even Steven Stamkos. Ah, uh, yes. I love that the second period has eight extra seconds. Uh, it could be possible. 1-1 one, one hockey game, and we score. Brent Burns the Yeti puts us back on top. This is anybody's. I'm trying so hard not to get my hopes up. I really am, but I am going to lose it if we win this. I thought we were down and out. Tavares ties it up. It's 2-2. Two, two. Come on, Minnesota. Come on. Power play? Power play? No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Killed it off. Holy smokes. It's like next goal wins territory. Let's... I just wanted to go in and watch. I interrupted it right as they got their power play. So let's see if we're able to kill this thing off here. Huge draw win. Why is EK out there on the PK? I guess that's kind of my fault. Penalty's halfway over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes! Way to be there, Petrie. Good stuff. Send it down the ice. I don't know who that was, but he just got blown up. Stall, get off the ice. You have nothing left in the tank. You're running on E. Big save. Oh, big second save. Taylor Hall got his own rebound. And Linus Allmark said, not today, Junior. Okay. We need to get this puck out. I don't like what's going on right now. 20 seconds left on the PK. They're moving this puck around. Great. That scared me. Short-handed goal. Short-handed goal! Bucky's all over it. Seven seconds left, so it's safe to say that we have essentially killed the penalty. I need to bite my tongue. Yes. Yes. Even strength. It is definitely next goal wins. I know it's not overtime yet, but... Oh. Oh! Come on, boys! Dig deep! Let's go! Why did you not just shoot that? Why did you have to walk into them to try and let that one fly? Huh? Malkin. That is the most clutch stick break of all time. Imagine we come back the other way and score too. Can you imagine? I can't. This right here, this is a playoff series. I'm actually nervous. Like I'm, I'm feeling it right now. Don't you dare. Good breakup. Don't let him walk in. Thank you, Allmark. Kopitar over to Nyquist. Nyquist lets it go. That will be kicked away by Kana. And ADB gains the zone for Colorado. Gets it poked off of him by Burns. Over to OEL. And headman to Kane. Go. Go, Nyquist. Good pass. No! Come on! You gotta capitalize on those guys. Yes. Yes. 
Corey Perry! No, he's a grinder! Why did it have to go to the grinder? Don't even think about it, Fisher. Nah, overtime. Maybe that's why Corey Perry lost in the Stanley Cup Finals three years in a row. Boom. Roasted. All right, head up ice and just end this series. Delete the Colorado Avalanche. What a maneuver. That could have been cool. Probably not the time to be doing that, Chucky. But because it worked, I'll let it slide. Yes. No! Yes? No! <laughs> what a roller coaster. Halves? That's not going to cut it. That's not going to do it. Win the draw? Or not. Yeah, just don't do what I said, actually. Come on, Evander. Come on. Oh, yeah? Great pass. Just picked off by, by Triangelo. And now Stefan Nason gains the line. Has it knocked off of him? Kane to Burns. And he's going to skate it out through the neutral zone. Hand it back off to Kane. In the middle of the Gus. And he just misses the net. We took a penalty. Oh, no. We took a penalty. Shorthanded goal? Who says no? It's getting hot in this room. I'm literally going to go turn the fan on. So if you can hear it in the background, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. That's much better. You have to get that puck out. You have to. They teach that when you're like one year old. Nice save on Malkin. ADB all over. Good poke check by Allmark. And another huge stop. We did not just take another tripping penalty. Watch what you're doing. Anze. Of all people, it was Anze. Five on three for a whole minute. Why did we get ourselves in this situation? Carlson, that's got to go the length of the ice, my guy. Oh. No, he had nothing in the tank. Petri doing a pretty good job of shutting them down right now. Carlson, can you knock it off with these weak dump outs? You got to send it, my friend. Crush him. Oh, he could have ran ADB through the glass. We're almost done the five on three. No! No! That is... Oh, why did we take two penalties? It was a good run. It was a good run. They're probably going to win the cup. In all honesty. GG, lads. It wasn't meant to be. But you know what? I'm still happy with how our team performed. That actually kind of looked like Corey Perry. I'm impressed. We 100% did that to ourselves. They are in the Stanley Cup final against the Boston Bruins. Let's go see what the bees are made up of. Hello? How is this team in the Stanley Cup final? This game continues to blow my mind every time I play it. They've got Moser with Carlson. Pionk. Sorokin is carrying them, I guess, maybe. One game at a time. I'm not sure if we are on a game day. We were not. So it's a 2-2 series. It is a 3-2 series for the Bruins. And will they close it out? They do, in fact, end the Colorado Avalanche once and for all. Springfield Thunderbirds, your Calder Cup champions. Kachuk and Kopitar both had nine points. Burns had eight. Pavelski, six. Stamkos did not sim that well for some reason. Linus didn't play bad. He ended with a 9-10 save percentage, 3-12, so 100% cannot blame him. Not a lot of offense from Carlson. Giordano had four penalty minutes. I feel like our offense must have been taking them all then. Not really. Perry had a five. A few fours. But I guess that is quite a bit when you think about it. Ilya Sorokin finished the playoffs with a 923 save percentage and a 257 GAA. Hellebuck also did great. Chris Letang led defenseman with 21 points. Pionk had 17. Four words, we got Hatrick Kane. Not going to be your Conn Smythe winner because his team did not win the cup. It's also not going to go to Malkin. I would like to take this opportunity to point out that it should probably go to Sorokin. And it probably... Won't. The art heart combo is not intact. Nathan McKinnon splitting it up. Okay. We do win the Norris? Yeah. Barzell gets the Lady Bang. The Calder goes to Matthew Nice. That is the first time I've ever seen him win it. I think, anyway. Sorokin got snubbed. JT Miller, your Con Smythe winner. Bobrovsky gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Masterton awarded to Gudis. Gweet. Gets the Jack Adams. Happy grabbing another trophy here with the Selkie. Nate Mack grabbing another one with the Ted Lindsay. But the tiebreaker, Matthews gets the Rocket Richard. There is your playoff tree. The Bruins went to seven in the first round and then never again. Colorado also went 
to only six games in both the conference final and semifinal. All right, well, thank you for watching. I guess I am still just washed, but you know what? That was a really good run. If we got past Colorado there, I swear we were in the Stanley Cup final. Appreciate you guys as always. If you like and subscribe, then your favorite team is winning the cup next year. I don't make the rules. Let me know if you have any draft ideas. If you do fantasy drafts, because I don't know if I'm the only one that kind of does fantasy drafts, but I've even just like 1v1'd a friend in a fantasy draft before, just for fun. On that note, I'll see you soon.